Dear all, welcome to the presentation on isometric projection to orthographic projection. The subject is engineering graphics. From the earlier lectures, we understood the principles of orthographic and isometric projections and also practiced the conversion of orthographic to isometric projection. This lecture is focused to understand the need and conversion of isometric projection to orthographic projection. The conversion procedure has been explained with the animation so that the learner can understood the entire procedure in a step-by-step -step manner. Orthographic projections. The details, particulars, instructions, etc. Uh, to make a product can be conveyed to the engineers, technicians, workers, etc through the orthographic projections. At each and every stage of product development, orthographic projections plays an important role. The product can be visualized through two or more than two orthographic projections of the product. Two views means uh, a front view with side view or front view with top view. But most of the cases, Three views are used, that is front view, side view, and top view. In some, some special cases, uh, in addition to these uh, three views, uh, some extra auxiliary views or etc. may be required. Isometric projection has significant role in assembly and visualization of the physics of the product, uh, especially to understand the location of each and every component in assembly Isometric projection plays an important role. Development of orthographic projections from isometric projection. Now this L block is a uh, isometric projection. The L block is showing uh, uh, three colors. The blue color in the top direction, the green color in the front direction, and this pink color in the side direction. According to the view, the blue blocks are showing as a top view and green blocks are showing as a front view whereas the pink color the view is a side view as per the drawing but these three views we have to arrange in a proper manner according to the uh, first angle projection or third angle projection in this case, we followed universally the first angle projection for the orthographic projections. To practice this isometric projection to the orthographic projection, let us consider an example uh, of this block. The question is, uh, develop the orthographic views from the given isometric projection shown in the figure. Uh, the given figure is in isometric projection uh, first, we have to study the dimensions and shape of the uh, block. First, this arrow head which shows uh, the direction of the front view. And coming to the dimensions, the length, width and height has been given. Apart from this length, width and height, uh, particulars of the whole that is the diameter, diameter of the hole, location of the hole is been given, and step uh, step details also is been, has been given. That is the step height and uh, hole height both are same as 10 mm. After studying this uh, isometric projection, <coughs> we can proceed the solution that is uh, development of orthographic views. <coughs> To start the orthographic views, first we have to draw the front view. After the front view, either side view or top view can be drawn. <coughs> there is no strict rule um, to follow uh, after the side front view, uh, which is the side view or top view, according to the convenient, the side view or top view can be drawn. This is the top view. Uh, to be drawn exactly below the front view and this is the right hand side view exactly drawn 
align to the front end. Now the question arises why we selected only right hand side view instead of left hand side. Right hand side view only we can see all the particulars that the step details whereas in the left hand side view we can't found the particulars of our vision of this step. That's why to avoid mostly the use of dotted lines uh, we have to select the views where the maximum particulars or details are available. According to the first angle projection the right hand side view has been shown in the left hand side. Coming to the step by step development of this orthographic uh, projections, the animations This is the development of the front view first. As per the given dimensions, the front view has been drawn here first. The length, width and height of the front view has been shown. Let us see the solution along with the given question that is the isometric the left hand side you can see the isometric and right hand is the solution that's orthographic projection after finishing the front view uh, we can start uh, any either plan that's a top view or side view now here the side view has been drawn uh, that is the uh, width of the side view is 20 and the height of the side view also is 20 that's 20 by 20 square after that the top view has been drawn here uh, the length of the top view 30 and this is width is 20 that is 30 by 20 this is the top view uh, the, we can't see the hole that's why a hole has been drawn uh, as a dotted line and the corner lines is a continuous line this corner line also has been shown as continuous line actually the axis are the center line and corner line both are overlapped here also the axis and the corner line the step line both are overlapped now this uh, isometric projection has been converted into the orthographic projections that's the front view top view and side view thank you for your listening